What's going on guys? Today we gotta do what I like to call the crap box shuffle. We gotta move this guy over there, which means this guy's gotta go out so this guy can come out and then there's no way this boat of a car is gonna fit there without moving that one. So a buddy of mine gave me this uh, shelf here and it's on wheels and it's got quite a bit more shelves than what I've got over there. So we're going to make kind of like a parts organization area there for the different projects um, because this is obviously a complete mess. So that's what we're doing next. Try to organize. I think each shelf being its own project maybe. We'll see what happens. All right, since this thing is on wheels, I can just transfer these parts directly on the shelf in an organized fashion and then roll that bad boy right over there. So, already started. These are AMC 360 parts, extra gaskets and whatnot. Um, but got a lot to go through here. Probably gonna go through some purging too. Definitely don't need everything. Like this is from the Moto 4 that I sold. And you know, they're like $5. So unless I acquire another Moto 4, I really don't need it hanging around. But anything that's like car automotive, Jeep automotive, it's worth keeping because we are acquiring projects. So, all right. AMC 360 shelf right there. I don't know why I keep some of this stuff. I found this old notebook um, that my dad and I started back when I got the old Impala. Look at that. Day before Josh's 16th birthday. To-do list. That's my dad's handwriting. It's a lot better than mine. And look at this. This is funny to me. Buy and install new tank sender. Look at this date. I still do not have a working gas gauge because I still have not dropped the tank and put a new sending unit in it or purchased it. <sighs> you know, some things just never get done. I practice what I preach. They lie your foot around my way, then get lost to see. Not sure what you wanted, but I'm what you need. I know my high just started, but I hit a peak, yeah. Sweet. Got a little carburetor section. Uh, those are some trailer parts, some suspension parts. That's all Impala down there from the old disc brakes. This whole shelf is Jeep. There's a bunch of these parts that are, actually need to go on the Jeep. So, um... I've got a York compressor. I want to do uh, onboard air. Um, got a setup for Hydro Boost brakes. Oil, fil oil filter relocation kit. Uh, got stuff to kind of fix up the cooling system. I got some leaks. Got the uh, tie rod ends to build that new tie rod. So, a bunch of parts that need to go on. And I've got some other parts. Check this out. Right here, 
we've got a rebuild kit for tur Turbo 400. So we're going to finally get that transmission rebuilt. And right here is a Reman torque converter. So, Big Chief is going to be back on the trails here soon. Super excited to tear into this. If you have any tips, leave them in the comments below. We'll be picking up a service manual so I can know all the steps of the process, and I will try to explain it the best I can and show you what tools you need and whatnot. But, yeah, it's going to be sweet getting the Big Chief back on the trails. All right, well, I robbed... Uh fuel system for this to start the blower. So now this guy doesn't start. The emergency brake on, jeez. All right, I'm hoping I got enough trans to move this. Plus, I robbed the friggin' carb nuts off this thing for the Studebaker, and I didn't pick any up. So hopefully, carb just stays sealed enough by sitting there. We'll see. <sighs> Found my other welding glove. Got that area all swept up. Apparently the Volkswagen's leaking a little oil. Um, we're gonna let this guy charge a little bit more. So let's go for a little drive. I got something to show you. So I'm gonna drop this tire off here. Ugh. Back corner tire yard here. 
It seems silly to keep these donuts, but they work good for moving dead cars around, so. Oh, what happened there? I've been doing some work back in the woods. Uh, some of you guys might know, we had a pretty good fire last summer, at the end of last summer, and we thought we might lose everything. Um, the fire came within like a mile of our house, and uh, got me thinking, I gotta do some fire prevention, and I learned about a program through the DNR, Washington DNR, um, and they kind of give you a prescription on how to do everything. So I had them come out and kind of tell me what to do. So I've been thinning trees. Uh, got some slash piles started. But the cool thing is this has finally prompted me to build some obstacles. So let's drive down here and check out the first one. Got this big old log right here between these trees and uh, side by side can't get over this one Ugh. And I imagine that once we start crawling over it with the Jeep and other rigs that we're gonna end up with some pretty good holes here got a pile of boulders right over there close proximity so I'm gonna start yarding those over with the tractor and fill in this section then got another pile of logs it got the side-by-side -side stuck on these and I think the Jeep will have no problem but they get slick and uh, it might be just the right distance where I started getting some holes there and then um, that big old broken tree there um, gonna get it cut down and use it between these trees and then we're gonna use the tractor and dig a hole right here to make a nice vertical face and so that'll be a pretty good start trying to build something that is a little bit harder because all the ones that were kind of natural on the property um, are pretty easy to be honest with 37s and a full spool so but this is just like one section as I work through the property um, thinning trees I'm gonna be able to scope out more obstacles I might find uh, boulder piles I didn't know about um, so pretty excited about that uh, all right let's go check out something else all right so I got this uh, I think it's a 73 Ford uh, diesel tractor here 23 horse and it needs some work so um, it needs a little TLC got to rebuild the hydraulics got to rebuild the bucket and I'd like to do, you know, just a quick makeover on it. Just a quick repaint. Maybe see if I can find these decals and stuff. Try to bang out the, the dents here on the grill. Um, and just try my hand at painting. I need to get some practice in before we start doing the stuff that really matters. Um, but my question is, is do you guys want to see this? I'm going to make videos regardless. If you guys want to see it, um, I'll put it on this channel. If you guys are like, eh, I don't really care about tractors, um, then I'll just post it on my other channel. But uh, leave a comment below, and I'll do a poll um, sometime. But do you want to see uh, a little restoration on the little farm tractor here? Um, this is what I've been using uh, to push brush piles back there, and it's what I'm going to use to dig some of the holes. Hopefully I can get uh, a couple of my buddies out here that have bigger equipment to dig some bigger holes, but I think that'll work for now. 
Anyway, yes, leave a comment below. Do you want to see Restore on the tractor or not? All right, let's try this again. Come on, baby. See if we can get squeeze that Impala in there and hopefully have enough room to back that bug straight up in there. We have to find a place for the compressor. <sighs> Figure it out. Now's a good time to move that table saw back where it goes. Come on. Let this girl warm up again. <laughs> Looks ridiculous with all the cars out. Probably gonna have to figure something else out here. That's not gonna work, but we'll figure some... find a new spot for the table saw, maybe. And then also, I think once the bug is in here, I can probably creep this thing forward. Just gotta be able to get to my shelves over there. A little tight, but that's okay. Chief's in, kettle glider's in, bug's in. I need a name for that guy. Fit all right. Just gotta deal with that situation there. That's gonna be annoying real quick, but I can find a place for those. Anyway, uh, some sad news. Uh, we are not going to the Baja 1000 this year. Uh, so had some Stuff come up with the truck, just weren't able to get her done in time. And uh, this is definitely a year that you wanted to be prepared starting in La Paz. But kind of bummed that we're missing it. But the blessing is 
Uh, now, we've got some time and cash for our other project, so that is why I've got the transmission rebuild kit for this, uh, the new torque converter. Um, I am making a parts list for the suspension because I kind of just piece this together with junkyard parts. I want to put all new bushings in the springs, get some new shackles, get some new uh, mounts here, and I got a new set of springs for the rear. Well, junkyard springs, but um, should have showed you before I shut the door, but one of the springs is bent. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. I need to shorten these up because I think I made the spring purchase too long and it's putting pressure on the spring where it shouldn't. And so I got another set of 63 inch Chevy springs. I'm gonna leave the overload in it this time, give me a little more room and try to figure out what I gotta do about clearance here because see how that spring clip got all bent up. Um, so a little bit of adjusting to do there. And then the cage is finally happening. So that's why I wanted to get the Impala over here, um, get it out of the way. And then the Chief, you know, I don't really care if it gets parked outside once in a while um, for when we start doing the top on the convertible. And so um, that's why I want it in this position. Plus got a ton of work. This thing is finally gonna start taking the shape that I want it to. So get that transmission fixed up and then dial in the suspension and then cage. Gonna be sweet. Anyway, let me know, do you wanna see that tractor get restored on this channel? And any tips, uh, video suggestions, whatever on the Turbo 400 would be great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. We'll see you next time.